Hey guys, welcome back. So it's gonna be a really quick video. I am in the process right now of setting up uh, this ANET E10 3D printer, which was given to me by GearBest to do a review on. Um, I built it in the house, did a whole build video, which I will post soon. And um, in a few days or a week, once I get some prints done, I will do a proper review. But there was one issue that I had uh, at the end of setup that looked like a lot of people were having with this printer. So I want to make a video just about that. Uh, when I finished the setup here, the hot end was having trouble heating up properly. It would just take forever to get up to temperature. And I realized like if I blocked the fan, I was uh, basically the, the extruder would heat up Your head faster. looks really shiny. Seriously, right now? And what do you have going on under your hat? All right, guys, sorry about that. Um, so anyway, the if I blocked the fan, the extruder would heat up much faster. So I went online just to see how other people, what they did. I figured pretty much the same solution a lot of people came up with was putting some tape over the fan, and it worked. And I did some prints like that. The prints came out fine. But then I moved the printer from my house into my shop. And when I was setting up in here, I realized that on the side of the printer, there is a switch to go from 110 volt to 220 volt. And I was like, man, I wonder if that's not set right because I'm getting some weird power issues. Like when I would turn the printer on, whenever the heat bed would turn on, I could hear all of the fans slow down a little bit, like it was drawing too much power. So I went checked that switch and sure enough it was on 220 and when i switched it down to 110 and now everything is working like it's supposed to the uh the, the hot end heats up just fine really quickly uh it stays hot when the fan is running on the printer i don't have to have a piece of tape over it which is great and that was a uh just a really easy fix and a lot of people are doing the tape trick and all this and i don't think you need to do that Will this work for everybody that's trying this? I'm not sure, but it definitely worked for me. It made a huge difference. Uh, everything just seemed to work better. I didn't get those weird power draw, like when my bed heats up. Everything is now e very equal. So if you're having those troubles and you're having a, a slow heating extruder, check that uh, voltage switch and see if it's on the wrong setting. Uh, probably won't matter if you're in Europe. If it's on 110, you're probably going to toast your printer. But anyway, figured this would be helpful to somebody. Stop! Oh, All right, uh, I'm going to go. Ugh. Anyway, thanks for stopping by, and I will see you guys soon.